Hello and welcome to another video on how to use scale fusion to manage your devices. In this video, we will see how to use the Knox mobile enrollment portal and scale fusion to create an MDM profile that can be used to enroll your Samsung devices. The first step is to complete the Android for Work setup. You would also have to create an Android profile of type kiosk. So now I've created something called Samsung testing. You also need to create a QR code based on this profile. Once you have all these three, you can go to the Android for Work setup. Click on the Android Zero Touch and Samsung KME setup tab. Click on Create Configuration. Give a name for your configuration. Select a configuration and click on Save. Once this is done, you would see the configuration created. Once you expand that, you will see two tabs, one that can be used with the Android Zero Touch portal and one that can be used with the Samsung KME portal. Now, once we are in the Samsung KME portal, as suggested, let's sign into the KME portal. I've already signed in. Once signed in, launch the KME console, the Knox Mobile Enrollment console, and come here for the second step. Here, you can choose what kind of profile you want to create. Before that, let's go ahead and look at the KME profile. The KME portal, on the left hand side, you would have the MDM profiles. MDM profiles are the enrollment configurations that give information to the device. What APK to download and what is the enrollment data that needs to be pa passed. Scale Fusion provides this data that you need to pass it on to the Samsung KME portal. Click on the create profile. The two types of profile that you can create. One is a device owner and device admin. The device owner is useful for a new device or if you are enrolling an existing device and are ready to factory reset that device, then you should use device owner. Device admin is for legacy method of managing where the device will not be factory reset, but just the Knox permissions will be given. Use device owner if you want to use both EMM and Knox features and use device admin if you just want the Knox features. At this point, let's go back to the dashboard. Once you click on the profile information, you have two options here. Depending upon the type of profile that you want to create on KME, select the radio tab. Let's go ahead and look at how to create the device owner profile. Now, click on the device owner. Give a name for your profile. Say for example, I'll give this marketing demo. You can enter any description. From the drop down, select other. At this point, you will be asked to enter in URL for the MDM agent APK. This can be obtained from the Scale Fusion dashboard. At this section, click on copy here, the URL will be copied. Go back to the KME portal and copy paste the URL. Now, once you click outside, it will start verifying the application and make sure that the APK is valid and the continue button will be highlighted. Click on continue. At this point, you can enter the enrollment data that will be passed on to the APK that gets downloaded. Go back to the dashboard, click on the enrollment data, copy it, come back to the KME portal and paste it. Do not modify this data as this might cause issues in the enrollment. As regards the device setting, you can choose to disable the system apps or leave all the system apps enable when the device is factory reset. We recommend using leave all system apps enable as your IT team might want to use some of the default apps in the kiosk mode. You can add a legal agreement that will be visible to your end users and you can also edit the company name. Click on create once you're ready with the changes. Once you have created the profile will be appearing here. Once you have purchased devices from a registered reseller or using the Knox deployment app, you can assign these profiles to devices so that they download the correct Scale Fusion APK and install using that APK and pass on the enrollment data. You can create as many profiles as you want and depends upon how many QR codes you have. This is the first step to start enrolling your devices via Knox Mobile Enrollment. Please watch 
our video on enrolling KMA devices to see how this works. Thank you.